Has there been any change in the type of property owner that is likely to, you know, put their property on the short-term rental market versus the type of property or the type of owner that would have done so pre-COVID? Has that changed? Mm -hmm. Because I would imagine pre-COVID you got a lot of people that would have rented out a spare room, for instance, because obviously that helps them, particularly maybe first-home buyers, might help them with cash flow. Certainly you mentioned people have gone overseas and obviously rented out their homes, Mm -hmm. uh, short-term rental market while they're away. Uh, Then you've got people who just bought an apartment basically and wanted to maximise their yield on that mm. you know so there's lots of reasons lots of compelling reasons i guess why people mm. would choose that as a um a way to to offer their property for um to get income from it has that changed in any way do you think yeah, has there been um, some weaknesses or any for any any i guess vulnerabilities any of those sort of those uh motivations yeah so we we definitely have seen um a change here the biggest change is um that was previously it was around a different form of income and sort of um, um, looking at that, like how do you, we've never done the only room and uh, some management, but um, the biggest shift we've seen is really flexibility of use. Mm. So with that whole, that we're all more more mobile and flexible from where we work, is that we see people buying properties and living in that for some point, right? For some kind of, um, sometimes it's just like for a couple of weeks a year, a month or two a year, but that is really something where we've seen that new and, and you can't manage, you can't do long term in those kind of scenarios mm. because that takes away that flexibility of use your property. And going back to the point is when I think with your sort of introduction on this, I think what we really um, see here is that we are enabling properties to be utilized um, in our area where there's shortage um, in a way that um, someone that then, uh, let's say, you own your property in, in Brisbane and you are in there for December and January, but not the rest. Um, it allows others to stay in this property um, for their need. And again, that means it might um, uh, take away some weight of the long-term rental market or from other uh, accommodation. So I think there's really, um, there's a change of user behavior and I think short-term rentals are really enabling people with that kind of increased mobility and flexibility to where their center of life is and how Maybe they don't have one center of life. Maybe you can have a couple of uh, areas where you um, Mm. spend time.